What's good everybody, it's H back with another 12 Hub TV video and today we're going to look at uh, a shoe that I have not looked at on this channel yet. It's a dunk, a high, a dunk high, but it's a special one that's got a cool story behind it and it's kind of new and I hit on it on a raffle, not a raffle, on a, a draw on Nike sneakers app. So yeah, with no further ado, let's get into it. This is the Nike Dunk High All-Star. 2021 let's go so if you didn't know the all-star game for the NBA was played in Atlanta Georgia this year it was supposed to be in Indiana uh, Indianapolis Indiana they had, you know, obviously events and stuff centered around it. They planned this out at least a year in advance, usually. Uh, it's going to be, you know, usually shoes that are supposed to drop, events with people performing, all this type of stuff. But with COVID-19 happening in 2020, uh, things got kind of halted and they had to shift gears. So Indiana wasn't ideal, I guess. I don't know the full story behind it, but Atlanta was willing to host it this year. So they went there. There were a bunch of shoes that did come out, like LeBron put out something, I think KD's, uh, Kyrie's, um, probably Adidas did a drop, and they did a special dunk this year for the All-Star, that's a dunk high. So, I went for it on sneakers. I never win sneakers, especially for dunks, lately at least, and I have a new account, so that's been working for me, and I hit. I hit on this one and it's my first dunk that I ever got off of sneakers. Uh, first dunk I ever bought that wasn't resale. <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into the box. It's of course just this standard old Nike box with the, the just do it tape. Crack it open with the old bear claw. This is like classic, yo. I'm sorry to tell y'all, it's classic. The bear claw is always gonna be with me. Shout out to my man who commented and said something about the Supreme Gloves. He's like, I've never seen, he's like, I'll, I'll put the comment up here. I'll take a screenshot and put it right there. But he's like, I never seen anybody do unboxing with gloves on. Now, obviously, you know, you probably don't watch many of these unboxings and there's a there's probably a bunch of people that do it with the gloves on. I just don't know them. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, let's get into it. So the shoe, here it is, boom. Black box, it's just, kind of cool I never I thought dunk boxes were different I don't know I don't know much about dunks because I'm not a skater kid all I know is that when I was first getting sneakers back in like 2000 like like buying sneakers and trying to match them up with clothes and stuff it was like 2008 2009 and I used to go get my shoes at like Marshalls and stuff and back then dunks were on their way out I think or there was one of those periods where it was like up and down with dunks I actually was into dunks back then just because they were 25 30 bucks they look pretty cool i used to buy them so skater shoes and stuff like that were always on the marshall's and ross's clearance rack i bought a pair whew, i bought some really nice dunks some um flannel dunks that match this flannel that had perfectly like beautiful beautiful shoes and i don't know you know i i i go and look back at a couple of pairs that i had and they're worth some money like two three hundred dollars resale used just because they're not around anymore. They weren't even classic colorways. They were just regular old dunks. So I might have some of them still. I should go clean them up and bring them out. But it is what it is. It's 2021 now. And this is where we are. This is where we are with the Nike Dunk Highs All-Stars. Cool thing about this shoe. Let me get into it. It's size 12 like I wear. So I'm just gonna, it's a special box, I guess. It's a nice box. Very nice box. Oh, this is cool. It's got like silver paper. And it, I don't know if you can kind of see that. That's that's nice. Silver paper. Never again, I'm not a dunk expert. I only have one pair of dunks, and that's my uh my Viotex, and that came in a regular old box. These aren't SBs, these are just dunk highs. So this is double paper wraps, so you know it's special. Alright. There's one shoe. Ooh, these are nicer in person than that. Dang. All right, so people, oh man, people are gonna be mad when they see what they missed out on. So I'm gonna take those out. <laughs> wow, these are nice. These are real nice. All right, slide this box in. 
one and two. Peep game. It's the right one. Leather's nice on these. This patent leather. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, so this is a greenish colorway. This is like green, barely green, I think, or barely lime or something. That's what they call it. Green laces, of course. This only comes in one set of laces, which is interesting. I would have liked to see maybe a black or a white lace extra with this, but it is what it is. Has the Nike here, and this is where it gets. This is where the story comes in. So the Indianapolis. This is All Star, in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and it has the NBA and Nike swoosh embossed and bet or stitched on there so it's really nice it's very nice quality this patent leather is very unique if you look at it's got like this swirly yeah these things this is dope I mean, it's this is a dope shoe i don't know I'm, so the value on these resells anywhere from 200 and down like 150 to 200 the hype on these was not really there because obviously there was no demand for them because of all-star not being in uh, Indianapolis, but it is something that is, in my opinion, very, what's the word, like commemorative or, or uh, just something that you, you know, you're going to hold on to just because, yeah, it was supposed to be there this year and it's remembrance of like, like things like, like the pandemic, like this is what happens when you're in a pandemic, you miss out on, on um, events and whatnot and things get all out of whack. So that's that's how I'm gonna remember. So I'm gonna put this in my in my case. It's really nice. I like the way the toe box, like the <laughs> the dots on the toe box, kind of go in like that. Never noticed that on any dunk or anything like that. You know, Air Force Ones and all they got their special air holes and whatnot. But the, yeah, the quality of these is immaculate. I ain't gonna front. This patent leather is very unique. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with this shoe. You can't go wrong with this shoe, to be honest with you. And the style on this would be easy. I think it's an all year round shoe. Uh, I do see some little, there's glue marks and stuff on some pieces, like right there. So, like I saw some on this one too. So I think that's easy to get out, but you know, it's just annoying when you open up the shoe. Tell me what you think about this shoe. Do you like dunk highs or dunk lows? I mean, okay, obviously most people are gonna say dunk lows. Dunk lows are easier to wear. Yeah, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with jeans, sweats, everything, right? Dunk lows. These though, like I'm a sweatpants guy lately, cargo pants guy. These these will go fresh with some cargo, some 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 definitely, you know, rock with sweats easily. Uh jeans. Yeah, jeans for sure. Definitely can rock these with jeans. I love the way like dunks, dunks and Air Jordan ones have this unique like just fit with any type of outfit type of look. Um, and dunk highs and lows, obviously. And Jordan highs and lows. Jordan 1s, I mean. But these things are just... I mean, for for, for, for what it's worth, because I heard a lot of people dogging these, saying like, oh yeah, All-Star was canceled, but these things are whack because of the color. But yeah, you know, the color to me is just dope. It's really dope. <laughs> people, you know, Diamond Dunks, similar, similar colorway. Uh little but these these definitely hit with me i like them so i'll give these a over a seven out of ten as far as dunks go so i know neutral color dunks really hit hard just because of the, the silhouette just the, the, the pieces right here um the, when you color block the wings this this and this on a dunk and it's a dope color like uh you know like the spartan green the color the syracuse orange all that type of stuff they just hit really hard and those are the classic colorways obviously but this is this is dope the way they did this they put a lot of a lot of effort into making this quality so yeah tell me what you think will i wear this probably not it's, it's probably gonna go up for sale at, at some point yeah if i don't wear it <laughs> it's a very interesting shoe and uh, tell me what you think in the comments like subscribe below we just did our second podcast i didn't even put the first one out yet because I still haven't gotten permission from the guest because they have not reviewed it. it was three hours long we didn't really even talk about sneakers that much so it's probably a wash with that one it'll go up on my other channel once things are done but the 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 conversation is timeless but we did talk recently to rapper nicholas f you might know him from working with drake oh man very he's an underground artist sort of but he did do a few songs with drake um that you know kind of popped off 
and he's done a lot of work with myself back in the day but he's also a sneakerhead uh and my brother we you know we chat every day but lately it's been more about life sneakers and all that stuff so i went up to richmond virginia sat down with him we talked for about two hours part of it's gonna be in this channel part of it's gonna be in my other channel look for that this week but yeah we had a great discussion sneakers popped up obviously in the first half that'll be on this channel and in my other channel we'll talk about the rest of the stuff we went into politics you know battle of the sexes all types of good stuff it's a pretty dope conversation so tune into that but yep talk to y'all later peace and love this is h good night <laughs>